Joe Alentino Alentino Alantonio Alentino Alantonio. <laughs> That's the name. Okay. Uh Joe, what do you think about QA Tesla career route? I've been seeing this pop up. I mean, I look at like QA testers and and IT workers the same way. Like you can go that route, but there's a limit to like how far you can go. Um again you're basically testing other people's work and and just making sure that there's a certain quality that's supposed to be um especially if you do like web development uh, i've seen people that do like qa for like web development and it doesn't seem like a fulfilling job right so i don't know if that's something that you want to do right um because you're not creating anything you're basically making sure that things look how they're supposed to look and, and work how they're supposed to work and that's it you're not really doing much um but yeah i mean if you wanted to go into that you could go into it i mean to me i don't care what you do what i care about is that you get it back and that you are successful and you still make money for yourself and your family that's it that's all i really care right um but me personally i wouldn't choose that because again just like i told you there's a certain ceiling that you're gonna hit like when you learn how to code and you become a developer sky's the limit only you can limit yourself right and also to how much time you put into learning new skills and 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 thinking outside of the box that's what really limits you it's not really the career so again you know in that situation you know if we compare it to development like <laughs> development is like way better right because you could go in and say well I can work as a, you know, start in an agency, maybe doing some or WordPress or PHP Laravel, or maybe doing some HTML emails, right? Then from there, jump as a front end developer doing Re React at a tech startup. Then from there, you know more about uh, the back end. Maybe you want to jump into Node.js. Now you're working as a full stack developer at a company. You know, maybe uh, you might say, well, after that, what's next? And then now you might go in and say, well, I want to go and work at Fang. Now you prepare yourself, do the interview, right? Do your little algorithms, do whatever you have to do. You pass it. Now you're working at Fang, right? Then from there, you could go in and say, well, guess what? I know all of those things. I want to build my own business. I have this idea of a startup. And then you could go in and build that. Now, as a QA tester, you're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> a QA tester, you might say, well, yeah, you could go work at, at Fang as a QA tester and, and things like that. But that's your ceiling. That's as far as you go. I, I've never seen a business come out of like a QA testing. So I don't know. So for me, that's where it's like, OK, I know there's a ceiling to it. And that's why I wouldn't go for it. Because believe it or not, as you continue to grow within an industry, you want to continue going you know, further and further and further to see how far you could take it. Now, being a QA tester, I don't I don't see it. You know, I don't remember the last time a, a guy that was doing QA testing is like, man, he just created an amazing service. And this is like, no, nah. it's like <laughs> those guys are basically just like workers. That's like a. A guy that goes into a supermarket and it's the cashier. The cashier is not not doing much, you, you know. Now somebody that might say, "Well, this guy messes with inventory and he's the one that's placing them in a certain way." Like let's say you work at a uh, at a store like H and M or something. The guy that's putting the clothes together and setting up the uh, you know the styles and, and how the mannequin is supposed to look and the presentation of the store that guy has way more uh room to grow than the guy that's just at the cashier the cashier is just the cashier you know what i'm saying so qa is just qa and there we go okay so this is the the other channel that i have this is where i'm gonna be dropping a lot of my new videos uh again go subscribe to it if you haven't the link is in the description just go in there um we just recently dropped a new video called uh developer gatekeeping trolls exposed <laughs> so uh this is basically a video pointing out some of the things that you might hear as a new developer that 
might scare you about the industry or might uh, push you away from a certain language or a single you know career path that you was gonna take because somebody might come in and give you some negative comments on it um basically we created that video just to show you guys all of the different like red flags that you're gonna see from random trolls that is really hurting you as a developer when you're trying to get into this industry so definitely go check it out uh let me see what else what else we got in here okay let's see so we got 